as, as we, we thank the Lord all over the country, let us remember that Dr. William Samoy Ruto is a creation of the altar of God. And I want to say to all Kenyans this hour that this is the freedom that we were waiting for. There is no other freedom that we speak about without this kind of president. Freedom has come. Many Kenyans may not know freedom from what? Freedom for what? But this is the season for economic revival. It's a season for spiritual revival. It's a season for social revival. It is our opportunity. Kenya is now free. Free from things that I cannot speak right now. But I am sure that Kenyans from today going to the future, even up to 2032, they will have the best time that they have ever expected. Let us remember to pray for His Excellency the President, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and pray for all those that will work under him. It is our duty and our obligation. Because if we forget that area, William Ruto has been created by prayer. And God in his wisdom has taught Kenyans the power to trust in him and to rely on him. There is no other way except the way of God. And as I speak, I'm sure that now Kenya is under the control of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for showing your power and for confirming that you never lie, whether through a prophet or through other prophets. Like the man of God spoke from Zimbabwe, the issue was not going to be settled by the election date on 9th of August, but he said it's going to be settled on another day. It has been a moment of waiting for all of us. But finally, God has confirmed that his word remains true and he never lies. I wish you all the best, President William Ruto. To us, you have all along not been president-elect. You have been our president. And now, take over the state house and give it to Jesus. And this country will be a great country. God bless you, our president. God bless Kenya. In Jesus' name.